Last week, we looked at one of the most amazing stories from the book of John. It sits right in the middle of John's book. It's the climax to the first half, and it's the beginning and the launch into the second half. This story is probably the best one that captures all of what God wants to teach us about this kingdom that God is bringing and about who Jesus is and what Jesus longs for, for our faith. When Jesus arrives on the scene where Lazarus has passed away, it's been a couple days since he passed away, and Mary and Martha come to him and said, oh Jesus, if you were only here, things would have been different and he wouldn't have died. And then it goes on and it shows all the people that are surrounding Mary and Martha. And those people are mourners. They're professional mourners. It was these people's job to add sorrow and sadness uh, to an occasion that's already sad of somebody passing away. And so they would stay there for days and they would add volume and they would add feeling and they would add all sorts of things that just exacerbate the sadness that's already there. And Jesus comes to the scene and he's watching all this happen and he's looking at Mary and Martha and he's, John says that Jesus is angry and deeply troubled. And then John says that Jesus wept. And then John says that ang Jesus was still angry when he arrived at Lazarus' tomb. All of these feelings are wrapped up together. What's this anger? What's this weeping? What's this deeply troubled all about? And it seems that what it was all about is that Jesus was angry at the whole scene because it was all centered on death. And if Jesus has a message to bring, his message is not at all about death. His message is about life and the life that God wants to bring to us. So when Jesus sees this, he is of course angry and he's naturally deeply troubled at this because Jesus saw that these people's faith wasn't making a bit of difference. And God made you and me to have faith that makes a profound difference in everything we do, in any situation, even a challenging one or a sad one or an awful one or a horrible one. Jesus wants our faith to make a difference in that situation, to realize that there's so much more beyond this. And of course we can be sad and of course we have feelings and we respond to things, but that's not all there is. Jesus wants us to not just be caught in mourning all the time, the things that happen. Jesus wants to push us so that our faith makes a difference. This week, we look at another amazing story from the Gospels. This one's from the book of Luke, and it's the story of Zacchaeus. And I look forward to looking at it with you.